All right, today I have a great video for you and we're gonna show you how to practice rallies with a road book, a trip master, and your bike. And uh, one of the difficult things about rallies, I guess, is one of the motorsports that you can't just go to a track on like motorsport, like motocross and uh, just, you know, practice rally. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do it, you know, maybe a, a video game, um, you know, maybe there's a, a few old road books that you had from previous rallies and you're lucky enough to live by the rally, but I'm going to show you a way that you can do it online, print a road book, uh, and practice anywhere, uh, close by your house even. Okay. And, uh, then we're going to go out and test it out on the bike. All right. So let's do this. What we want to do first is basically find a ready-made rally to basically copy the route. And this step actually isn't completely necessary because uh, this just makes it easier to take somebody's pre-organized, pre-scouted rally track and just copy it over to your own uh, roadbook. Now I'm just going to search for the Cypress Rally and just search for any rally that you know of that's in your country, any rally that's in the European Rally World Championship, the World Rally Championship. This site has a lot of them. And check out the different years, check out the stages that they have. I picked out a stage that I saw in 2014 a while ago, and it really stood out to me. I really like the stage. It's, uh, it's almost a loop. It's pretty short. And uh, it's pretty straightforward to draw out on Google Maps and scout it out and basically go ride it. So we're going to do this one. Again, what rallymaps.com lets you do is it lets you use a, a pre-scouted uh, uh, rally stage without making you have to go out and find the roads yourself, find safe enough roads, find good turns, uh, find challenging uh, technical areas. This is already done for you and you can just copy it. Of course, you can skip this and go and find your own roads and do it yourself, but this is a faster way to do it. And uh, we're gonna go and build a road book from this now. If you don't know about rallynavigator.com, you have to visit it right now because this is the main thing you need for making road books. And some professional rally organizations are actually using this app to make their road books, like Hellas Rally, I'm pretty sure they use this. So this is free to use. Uh, it requires a subscription if you want to print your road books. Okay, so you can always try it out and then uh, pay a yearly uh, fee. It's very small to print your road books. So I'm going to my road books here. I already have some created. Uh, I have the one Cypress Rally stage created. I'm going to click on that and we're going to load up our rally here. Now, this site has fantastic tutorials and videos on how to use this. So I'm not going to spend time in this video explaining how to do this. Uh, everything is on the site and you can learn everything you need from the site. So here's the rally. It looks uh, just like our loop that we found on rallymaps.com. You start waypoint by waypoint and basically just tap out the waypoints on Google Maps, essentially. And uh, here we're going to open up the first waypoint, the starting waypoint. You can see it orients north to south. Uh, and uh, and uh, the awesome thing about this is if you have never used a road book, this is telling you exactly what all the symbols mean. This, this gives you the different danger symbols, the signs. And as you're spitting out waypoints here, the tulip actually forms automatically and the kilometers also automatically update. So so everything from the cap heading as well to the kilometers to the tulip, they basically are made automatically and your only job is to embellish it really, to add some color to it, to add some symbols and, uh, and extra comments. Now the final part of making your own rally is obviously printing the road book. So there's a few options you have here. The first option is you can always just use uh, regular A5 paper, which is slightly, which is smaller than A4 paper and print it at home or print it on your own printer. That's gonna give you multiple pages. Uh, hopefully it's in color. Uh, you have the option of highlighting or not highlighting. But the thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna to have to tape the pages together to make a roll. And uh, you know that's time consuming. It's not gonna make it uh, very sturdy. The other option you have here 
is just making a roll, and the roll is called Roll X1, X1, and it's essentially 140 millimeters wide. That's the main thing you need because the MIGTEC roadbook, the F2R roadbook holders, they are using uh, 140 millimeter wide paper. Now, to do the roll, you're going to have to have uh, obviously a specialized machine. Now, all you have to do is build the file. It's going to do the file for you and just take the file to any print shop uh, around your around your town and tell them that you need a roll of paper of 145 140 millimeter paper and you know i tried a couple of places and most of them can do it so you just take the file the pdf that you get here take it to your print shop and tell them you need a roll of paper that's 140 millimeters wide and send them the pdf and they'll print it for you in color and it's going to cost you i don't know less than three or five euros or dollars so let's show you how this paper roadbook looks in pdf so this is the first file the a5 uh, pages obviously these are separate pages of 140 millimeter wide i'm not sure what the length is but you're obviously going to have to print these separately and tape them together when into a roll which is not ideal Ideally, you want to print this uh, X1 roll, which is one continuous page. It's 140 millimeters wide. Take this to your print shop, get it printed, and go rallying. So let's, let's take this road book on the road and actually do a rally stage of the 2014 Cypress Rally. Okay, we're going to do some road book navigation. Uh, well... We're gonna practice really uh, rally racing with the road book, the trip master, and the speedo cap. Speedo cap, trip master, road book. Uh, we're gonna do it with the road book that we created on rallynavigator.com and printed. And uh, this, is, uh, this isn't a weekend, this is a weekday morning. So I fully expect there to be vehicles on the road. So we're gonna do uh, really. Uh, we're gonna take it easy, especially in the blind turns. Uh, we're not gonna go fast. Um, we're just gonna take it easy. All right. So let's get this party started. Okay. So that's gonna be my heading. That's gonna be my. Um, I gotta get my odometer. I'm gonna reset it to zero. So follow along. We're going to be scrolling this piece of paper. We're going to be following it left to right. So we're starting at zero. We're going straight. This is the start of the special stage. And then at 0.74 kilometers, we're going to narrow into gravel. All right. Now if this is off, if the odometer is off, and we know where we are, we're going to adjust it to the correct uh, distance in the road book. 0.5. Here's the bridge, 0.6. Okay, we're going to scroll it up a bit. Okay, there we go. That should be right. Next is 1.33. We're gonna do a hairpin right rough. There it is coming up. One point three six, okay, that's good enough. Point zero seven. Keep left into right, and then straight. All right. Two point oh seven. Here we go. Into sand track, sorry, not straight. 
Here's the sand. Into right. Okay, 262. Straight and left right. Alright, blind turn, blind turn. Point six two. Another blind turn. Holy two eight seven. Okay. Uh, left into right. Airpin. Sandy, Sandy. Four point five. Okay, crest, blind crest, blind crest, and straight. Four point five. On the blind crest to the left. Sandy, Sandy. Blind right. 4.5. Into gravel track. Four, eight, seven. Left and keep straight. Uh, nope. Car. Truck. Slow down. Okay, there's a rock quarry over here, so I guess we're not gonna be able to go uh, full speed. Five five seven. Okay, uh, here it comes. No, again I missed it. Okay, my speed, my uh, trip is off. It's too far ahead. Uh, oh no, that was right. Okay, here it is. Five seven eight. Got it. Oh, yeah, this is not good. It's uh, full of trucks. Yeah, this is, uh, I guess this is an active construction site. Or a uh, quarry site. Anyway, let's see, uh, we can just get through this today. Six, five, one, right at the fork. Yeah, there's a truck there. Oh, okay. Let's just get by these. Let's see if we can get by. Right at the fork. Okay.
Okay. Okay, 714, left at the fork. Uh, we're a little bit ahead. Seven one four, here we go. Seven one four. Left at the fork. Seven seven two. Seven seven two opens into right cap two six one cap heading seven seven two all right opens into right here we go. Heading two six one. There we go, two six one. Eight one nine. Eight one nine we have left at the fork. And then keep straight. Okay. Uh, intersection. Eight one nine eight two one. No, f Keep straight. Nine two five. Nine two five. Past the trees. Keep straight. Keep left. Keep straight. Nine two five. Trees. All right, it's nine. Keep straight. Nine two five. Bearing left. Nine five eight. Okay, we got some blind corners here. Nine five eight. We're going, uh, keeping straight, keeping right. There we go. Keeping right, and then 1085, hairpin left between the house's buildings. 1085. Okay, we're going to slow down here. Slow down. 1085, we're going to do hairpin left. There's some traffic. Nice and easy. Alright, 1085. There we're coming up. Hairpin left. We're going right between the buildings into gravel. We're already on gravel. 1227, 
seven. Coming up, right into gravel, buildings. Building, keeping left at the intersection 1289. 1289. Coming up. There we go. Keeping left. Alrighty. Now, finish 1408. No way finish. Special stage ends. Okay, we're slowing down here. Okay, slowing down. Don't ever do that at home because that's dangerous. Uh, you know, public roads uh, either uh, don't don't go fast or just uh, do it on the weekends and still go still go slow. But uh, yeah, that was fun. So this is a great way to practice rallies at home. Um, you know, anybody can go on uh, rallymaps.com, find a rally that was by your house or where you live and uh, go to rallynavigator.com and print yourself a road book. All right. <laughs>